Got a 2008 Honda Odyssey for a 3.5. Gonna do a timing belt and water pump. What you wanna do is <clears throat> remove your right front tire and then uh, remove this inner fender skirt so you can get access to the belt. And you wanna remove the belt. There's your tensioner. So you get your socket on there on your tensioner and yeah I think that's a 17 millimeter no it's a 19 millimeter and you want to pull on it to release the tension on the belt and remove your belt once you got your belt off then you want to lower it back down and do some more stuff underneath the hood all right now we're back underneath the hood if you have a fluid sucker, that'd be great. You can suck the fluid out of your power stream reservoir, take the cap off, stick the hose in there, suck all the fluid out. And then when you got the fluid you can get out of the reservoir, and you want to undo your power stream inlet line, undo the clamp, and pull this hose off, and you can stick your sucker inside the hose inside here and suck some of the fluid out of the pump. And then you want to do the same thing for the return line. Take the return line off the reservoir. It's a clamp. Put the hose in there and suck some of the fluid out of there also. Then you want to remove the reservoir. Then you want to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts to the pressure line on top of the power steering pump. Okay. Wiggle this line back and forth and pull on it and it comes up. It's got an O-ring on it. What you want to do is you want to stick this off to the side to the back okay so it's not in your way then you want to remove the top engine mount bolt which is this right here it's a 17 millimeter head and it goes down through the upper mount down here it looks like that okay take that out that way you can raise and lower your engine have it tilted so you can get more room to your belt area from on top and also you want to remove these two bolts right here one here and one there those are 14s that goes to the engine mount bracket okay there's your two 14s pull them out and then you can take this bracket down below and just pull up on it and pull it right out of there Pull up on it like that, pull it out, okay? Goes in like that, pull it out, okay? A little tight squeeze with the power stream pump in the way. Next we're gonna do is remove the power stream pump. And that's got two 12 millimeters going in from this direction. Okay, it's held on by two 10, 12s. And here's one here and one there, okay? Easy to get to, no big deal. Okay, getting a little roomy under there. So now you need to do is put a jack underneath your engine, under the oil pan, put a block of wood under your jack and so you can jack the engine up so you can get a little bit higher. Um, you might have had to done that to get that bolt out, but Mine came out pretty easy, so hopefully you won't have any problems. But if you do have a problem, you need to put the jack underneath the train, uh, underneath the engine oil pan and jack it up a little bit. So now, what you need to do is jack it up, get it high as you can get it, try not to break anything, and keep an idea of how high, actually high you did get it. So the next time when you jack it up, you know where to stop. All right. <clears throat> You got these timing belt covers, one there and one here. It's held on by a bunch of, uh, I think there's like six screws to hold this cover on over the cam gears. They're 10 millimeter heads. So if you got a quarter inch, 10 millimeter deep, deep wall, remove them, okay? Before you remove this cover, you have to remove the tensioner. At least loosen it up and get it out of the way. 
and that will be that bolt right there it's a 17 millimeter take it out once you get it out take the whole tensioner and we'll drop off to the side okay like that <clears throat> leave it there for now get all the bolts out of this take that up here it's got one two three four five bolts i said six but it had five okay and then there's a wire harness positive wire right here you have to unbolt that so you can get to one of the bolts and this is what the bolts look like five of these and there's this one that goes to the wire harness right here you have to undo that one because it's in the way of one of the bolts okay next i'm going to do the back cover and the back cam cover you got a wire harness that sticks in it just pull it out okay get it loose so now you can get to your bolts okay you got both cam gear covers off all right and you see this 10 right here you need to take that 10 out too okay because that goes into this bracket that's going to come off after we remove everything from down below next thing you want to do is remove the harmonic balancer bolt to 19 and then you want to pull off the harmonic balancer using two hands wiggle it back and forth comes off that's what it looks like okay next you want to do is get a 12 millimeter socket and remove the the rest of the tensioner there's one bolt left right here on the bottom take that out and you can take the whole tensioner out okay here's the whole tensioner assembly so I hold on by this one and that one just like the pivot and that's actually the tensioner itself next you want to remove the plastic cover for the timing belt and there's like seven of them 10 millimeters okay okay here's the cover seven of them just like that okay okay here we are back in here you want to remove this make sure you don't forget to put it back on okay put it with your automatic balancer so you don't forget next next you want to do is look for your arrow which is right there Look for your dot, which is right there. And I just marked the keyway. Okay. So not lined up, then screw your bolt in all the way until it bottoms out. And you can use it to turn it to line everything up. If you got these lined up, you gotta look at the cams to see where they're at, okay? They gotta be on their marks too, all right? So now I'm gonna have to lower it down and I'm gonna look and see where my marks are. <sighs> see there's a line in there? That's what you're going by. And you gotta look for a little notch on the cam gear, which is right there. Okay. And you look on the back one, you look for it too. And it's down below. See a little line inside of it? Okay. <clears throat> now we got to turn the crank one complete revolution to get those pointing straight up. So we're going to raise it back up and we're going to turn the crank. Okay. I turned it and now it's lined up. So now I know the top ones are lined up. So now we need to remove that engine support in the front and that piece right there okay it's got some 14s on it we need to remove that so we can get the belt out and get access to our water pump okay i got the bottom one out it's a 14 millimeter head now i'm going to lower the vehicle down so i can get to the other two okay i just because this one you can only get to it from underneath Okay, now is the times when you jack the engine up a little bit so you can get into these a little bit more easier. Okay, 
Well, you got one right there. And then you got another one right here. But it's below this and it's inside the little valley inside there. And you gotta get inside there with your socket, okay? So, taking that one off. Okay, I got the back bolt out. Now I'm doing this one. I got a shallow socket in there and it just fits in between the mount and the ratchet. I think on the other models, sometimes I've done them, I removed that mount to get access to that a little bit better. But I didn't take this one out. Okay, I gotta remove that mount right here. It's got three uh, 17 millimeter head bolts, but I can't get to that one. So all I had to do is unbolt this module bracket assembly so I can move it out of the way. There's one, two, uh, three one underneath here right there two three and then back here one underneath there and back here is four okay where's it at oh, there it is there it is right there See it down there. Anyway, there's, there's one, two, three, four. Got them loose. You can get the, the wire harnesses out of the way by pushing on the little clips and then pulling them up, okay? So you got them four out. Now you can get to the three for the bracket, for the mount. Now here's the bolts. This was the back one, front one, and the middle one towards the fender. Okay? So be careful, this one might break. Don't work it. Okay, I just pushed the mount, the thing with the purple on it. I pushed it out of the way so I can get access to my bolt. Okay. All right, here it is. That's how it is. Now you look at your gears, they should be right on the money, okay? Should be right on the money. All right. You can use a, mag uh, and a, a mirror also to get in there to look at them. Okay, now I'm gonna raise it up. I'm going to take off my tension. Mm -hmm. Double check your lines. Make sure they're lined up. Okay. Now you can remove your tensioner. Got two tens on it. Take that out. Okay. Loosen up the handler pulley bolt. And loosen up the tensioner pulley bolt. Right there. They're both four tens. Then you can take them out. Okay, tensioner, pulley assembly, idler, and a shim, okay? Set them aside, now you can take your belt out of the way. Okay, the belt is out. Now, time to loosen up all the bolts for the water pump, okay? Make sure you got a drain pan to catch the fluid. Take the five bolts out, the 10 millimeter head ones, and then she drains. All right. Get the pump off. Take note that there's a pin, and there's a pin. You know, like a little dowel pin. Make sure that they come out with the water pump. If they stay in there, you gotta get them out because the new pump's got them in it, okay? Okay. It just sits here and drips and drips. So what I do is I, I blow air in the passages with a blowgun to force extra amount of coolant out of the block so it doesn't sit there and drip on me the whole time I'm trying to go back together, okay? 
So now I did that. So now I'm gonna spray with some brake clean a little bit here and there, just to get a little bit more cleaner. I don't get so dirty and wet working on it. And then I gotta clean up the water pump surface and then I'll put me a new water pump up in there. Okay, got it all cleaned up, ready to go together.